I met Teresa um, 1989 at church. She was a great singer. We spent about a, a year before we, we uh, get married. My mom, she was very caring. She loved to laugh, always laughed till she was like crying practically. Well, my mom, she expected us to do good in school, really get a lot of good grades. I met Nicholas and Teresa approximately 10 years ago. Initially, we just wrote Nicholas's life insurance. Uh, I work, I get out of the house every day, driving all the time, being ladders, you know, and ladders and scaffoldings every day. So I, I decided to just get it for myself. We look at educating policyholders. We want them to make well-informed decisions. Nicholas's original comment, I go, well, Teresa, she's, he, she's a stay-at-home mom. Why does she need life insurance? And I said, we have three kids. Well, if something happens to Teresa, are you suddenly going to stay home and be a stay-at-home dad and do all the things that Teresa does? Finally, Irene convinced me that to give uh, Teresa's life insurance. The Hispanic people, we don't want to get insurance because we think it's for we're gonna leave the money for the, the wife, for the kids. But I was wrong, I was wrong. That day, I received a call from my brother, Pedro, to he wanna have a barbecue in the house. So we barbecue, we have a good time. So I decided, yeah, it's time to go. It was about 100 meters before the green line. So I stepped a little bit, you know, just to, to uh, to, to pass the, line, the green line. The next team, we feel like somebody hit us. And you lose everything, you don't know what was going on. I see my Ryan Gabriel screaming, so I help him there to get out of the car. And then I saw Teresa. She wasn't talking. I know she was, she was dead already, because she wasn't moving anything. He broke his neck, he got his um, hand like really, really uh, bad. He lost his income by the fact that he became disabled and, and he had to become, take, stay at home and be with his kids as well. So the life insurance continued to provide the opportunity to keep a roof over their kids' heads. To buy uh, insurance policies is the best thing I did in my life. The life insurance has really helped me go to college and accomplish my goals. My mom's greatest wish would be for us to go to school, have a good job, not be out, out there wondering and, you know, wrong paths with the wrong people. Just be good people in general, stay united, stay as a family. And I think most importantly, be happy. She's been watching us. I told her I'll be taking care of my kids the way you want it. And and just, just don't, don't, just go by yourself, go rest in peace, and don't worry about, about the kids have been taking care of them.